Hi, I'm Tanya Memi. For the past 20 years, not a week has gone by where I have not been on television, doing some kind of DIY or construction. But for the past decade, I've traveled across America hosting a bunch of popular TV shows. Sell this house, move this house, sell this house extreme, all on A&E and the Bio Channel. I've gutted the inside of more hold houses than you can imagine to then completely reconstruct a new one. I did everything from ripping down walls to building furniture. So when it comes to home repair and construction, I have done it all and I've done it all on TV. I use chainsaws, jackhammers, wood saws, tools of all kinds, paints of all kinds, refurbishing, upcycling, DIYing, and crafting of all kinds. Currently, I'm on a show called Home and Family on the Hallmark Channel. I go on two to three times a week and I'm a mom entrepreneur slash DIY lifestyle expert. I love my job, but it's really stressful. I'm always on a time crunch. I'm always under a deadline. I have to pitch my own ideas, create my own ideas, and then execute them flawlessly on national television. I've been very fortunate in my career to have experienced Emmy nominations and red carpet events and all these wonderful publicity events, and it all kind of seems so glamorous. But really, I'm just a mom, I'm a wife, and sometimes it's just a big disaster. You know, as they say, it happens. And that's what the show is all about. Hola, good morning. Do you want eggs, Boo Boo? Ava, oh my God, my house is a disaster. Do you want eggs? Always looks like this. Tanya always complains that the house is always a mess. It's just really, really hard to keep up. Except when she's not at home, the house is actually clean. We have a nanny, she's the nanny slash housekeeper. I'm Ava nanny, now I'm Peruvian. Housekeeping part, I would say, is a little iffy. Oh, Tanya. <laughs> sometimes I forget that she's working for me, and I feel like sometimes I'm working for her. So what happened? The cat's peed on the carpet. Oh, cat. Hartman and Tommy. I'm always trying to hide the fact that sometimes my cats pee from my husband. It drives me nuts. Where's my phone? <sighs> I lose my phone all the time. One of the reasons we have a home phone is so she can find her cell phone. One of my biggest pet peeves is looking for my phone. That's Tanya. Ava has this little toy that you're supposed to put water in it, but because it was sort of in the colder months during the year, we decided to put beans in there. We thought, wow, what a great idea. And of course, they all ended up all across our backyard. I said, do you know that we have beans growing in our backyard? She's like, what? Do you know that we're growing beans in the no. lawn? Did you see the beans in the grass? No. How did they get there? I think mommy's gonna start on her office today. Why do you like licking my eyes? <laughs> My name's Tamiko and I'm Tanya's neighbor. Tamiko, I, I basically kicked Vaughn out of his office and I'm moving in and I want to redecorate the whole thing, do awesome lighting, painting. When I went over, I thought everything was going to be in place, but it was actually a mess. For some reason, Tamiko always comes over to my house when it's a complete disaster. Do you like the layout? No. Well, we're, okay. First of all, it's a mess in here. <laughs> Shit was everywhere. I was like, girl, what in the world? I can't think with all this mess everywhere. <laughs> I know. It's really embarrassing having Tamiko come over because she's so put together, and I'm so not. Move this out. You should have got you some movers over here. Shit, I can't lift this. I'm just, just a neighbor. We're just gonna do this. <laughs> I do not know how she functioned with all this clutter. I'll help you next time. You're gonna have to get you some movers. We need to change this lighting up here, girl. We need to do Isn't something. Isn't that ugly? Up. It looks like a boob. Hideous. Okay, well, thanks so much. I like it. You're yeah, welcome. Nice. nice. Woohoo! I'm a DIY expert on a national talk show. And they asked me to come on one to three times a week. And every day I come on, I have to present them with this awesome, fabulous DIY project. And here's the thing. I have to have my project ready the night before. I have, to, I have to know all the mistakes, I have to know all the, the ups and downs of making this project so that when I go on the show, I'm an expert. I always learn things the hard way. So all the mistakes I make at home, nobody sees them. I make the mistakes so that people don't. So for my next DIY project, I decided to make candle eggs made out of real eggshells. Basically, the first thing you have to do is blow out the egg. You literally put a hole in the one top of the egg, a hole in the bottom of the egg, and I crush the yolk 
and then you blow it out. Hold on a second. I needed to do in privacy, okay? Screw the straw. Egg number three. Hello. Hi. Hi. And I called her and she said that she couldn't come over because she was blowing eggs. And I don't really know what that meant. I gotta go to Lisa's house. You gotta go to Lisa's house? Lisa's one of my very best friends. So she asked me to help her transform a desk. It was a very basic black desk, and I said to her, let's paint it white and antique it. She said that we were gonna antique the desk and we had to sand it, and it was gonna be really messy. It was not anything that we wanted to do in the apartment, so we had to get it outside. So we kind of had to like tilt it and carry it, and I don't move furniture. I'm a girl. I do pretty things. I don't do those things. Oh, oh. <laughs> just like... Oh. You'd think that I'd be able to move Lisa's desk from the bedroom to the front yard. She went left, I went right, I went right, she went left. It was a disaster. Disaster! Turn it this way, turn it like, like, no, turn it this way, right. And then like, okay. cut around. And then, oh. Lisa, you're brilliant. Okay. It was, it was, I was a little hectic. Okay, like, okay. Oh. okay, let's bring it this now way. Now we gotta. <laughs> no, we gotta be with, let's go. So we finally get the desk on the front lawn. Then the painting started. Painting, painting, painting. Where's Lisa? Is Tammy done yet? I think she painted a drawer. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Lisa has no patience. Well, I had things to do. She's horrible at painting, did you see? In the end, I'm kind of glad that Lisa sort of disappeared because her painting skills are questionable. Is there water on here? I think it's in my room. It's okay, it's okay. Cartman, would you stop it? It's okay. Cartman. I have to go to the store and get some supplies for my oh, that is eggs. Bye. I'm constantly going to Michael's craft store, Joanne's craft store, any kind of local craft store, and I'm constantly, constantly visiting them. I don't know what it is, but things happen all the time with me. For example, this one day I'm out, I get out of the craft store, I got my hands full of stuff, something drops out as I'm walking back to my car in the parking lot, and it rolls way underneath the car that I'm parked beside. I'm in this cute little dress, high heels, my hair is all done, and Meanwhile, cars are driving past me, my ass is in the air. Hello, hello. I had to lay flat on the parking lot floor and shift underneath the car to grab this darn thing because it was like right, right in the middle. It's embarrassing. I can never do anything without a struggle. And I think I just got my period. So I show up to Lisa's house and she's telling me about this thing that her dog is just going at it, chewing on it. And I thought, okay, it's a bone or it's one of those doggy treats or something. Do you know what that is? It's um, cow penis. What? Yeah, bully sticks or cow penis. Ew! Mm -hmm. Wait yeah. a second. It smell it, smells it. Oh! <laughs> it's so bad. So, I'm not even smelling. No! Oh my God. My girlfriends. Ava, how's your art project going? Because mine sucks. Oh, I can't right. That is beautiful. So then what happens, you have to melt crayons and you have to melt some wax. It's not gonna work. Um, yeah. I don't know what to do. Then you have to make sure that the temperature of the wax, the crayons and the wax, you have to make sure it's not too high. Think it'll melt the wax? Let's hope not. Look, there's the crayons. Shit. Ow. You good? Well, I was. There's the crayon at the bottom of the can. And when you try and mix it together, they coagulate, and the whole thing's a disaster. All right, um, I'll start off with another crayon. I got an actual candle. Let's see if this works. I don't know. <laughs> so you're cutting the candle into little pieces to make another candle. Well, you know, it's not just that simple. I'm making an Easter egg candle. But the thing is, is that I bought a whole chunk of wax, and I guess it's a different kind of wax. It doesn't, it, it ended up separating from the crayons. Why don't we carve that into an egg shape, and then you don't have to make a new one. It's a brilliant idea. Nice that is a very it's brilliant the, uh, idea. 
There is. I just gotta melt this candle. <laughs> you know, look, I'm experimenting. I don't want to make a mess unless I know that this wax is gonna work. I think it's too late about the mess. <laughs> I don't know if he thinks I'm crazy. I don't know if he thinks, wow, this place is a mess. I'm just going on pilot mode. I'm just gonna ignore it. This isn't happening, this isn't happening. I don't know. I think we might need to ask Vaughn what he thinks about always running into me doing my DIY projects in the kitchen or in the dining room or outside. I find DIY very interesting. What should I do, Vaughn? Uh, get on eBay and see if you can buy an egg-shaped candle. <laughs> <laughs> what I see at home here I think at the end of her show, it should say, do not try this at home. So that goes in here? Yeah, well, no. I mean, it's only, it's gonna come out like that. Separated. It's not working. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. I don't know what I'm, I really don't know what I'm gonna do and I need to find, figure this out very soon. This is the worst <laughs> DIY gone bad and Stan's loving it. And sometimes she'll be at it until 2, 3 a.m. in the morning. Like a night she was trying to make um, egg-shaped candles for Easter. Ooh, I think it's working. So then I realized, oh, you have to have the wax not above a certain temperature. It has to kind of be like just at melting point. And then you have your crayons just right when they've melted. And then you pour them together. And then they mix fabulously. Why do I feel like this is going to go horribly wrong? Oh, God. Oh, shit! What's happening? <laughs> oh, damn it. You put the... So I solved one problem and then can't figure out the other. <laughs> oh, Oops. <my> <laughs> Kind of like watching a TV show, but in 3D. Sometimes I feel like Lucille Ball in the kitchen. <laughs> then you take that, you stir it up, and you pour it in your egg. And then it kind of like, there's a little divot thing because it sort of settles. You gotta shake the egg a little. You gotta shake it a little like that so that all the bubbles go to the top. Right? I mean, I could never have that on television. <laughs> okay, I'm just letting you know that these are all the mistakes that I make so that it looks absolutely perfect when I do it on TV. I thought that this was the easiest DIY project in the world, and it was probably the hardest and took the longest. I'm done. I'll do the rest tomorrow. Ah, oh, where's my phone? Is this day two or three that I've been working this on? This is day three. This is day three, isn't it? Yeah. I'm getting eggshells all over the place. This one turned out horrible. So it's kind of good that this happened because now I can give you a little tip. Cartman! Cartman! So here's the thing, this is the one that I put the glitter in, but you don't really see the glitter. No, you don't. <laughs> glitter. So we're gonna dip it in some glitter and see what happens. I had no relationship with glitter until Tanya started her DIY. I wake up with glitter and I go to bed with glitter and I go to work with glitter. I have glitter all over my suits. And sometimes you come up with some really cool new ideas like putting glitter around them. And I have glitter on me probably right now. You do. On my right pants here. right now. Is it shiny? Yeah, right. Oh, is it right? <laughs> right. I'm not surprised. And she didn't work with glitter for probably a couple of weeks now. And it actually looks kind of pretty. Hi. 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 Uh, what's happening? There's not any lights on it. Meanwhile, my friend Joanne shows up. So I walk in the kitchen and Tanya goes, oh, perfect, you're here, we're shooting, Stan's shooting, we're doing this pilot. I said, Tanya, what, what are we doing? She said, I need you to blow into an egg. And I'm like, have you ever blown out an egg? No? No, I've blown on candles, blown out candles. But you've not, but you've never blown out an egg. No. Would that's you like to try it? I guess, sure, I'm open. So I decided to show her how to blow an egg because I actually really needed a few more eggshells. So it was perfect timing because I didn't feel like doing it anymore. All right, and on that, I'll say I'll have a cocktail now. 
she had nothing better to do. So I thought, perfect, you can help me, I can help you. And the thing I love most about Joanne is you can give her anything and she, no questions <laughs> asked. She just, she just does it. And then you blow. You ready? Uh. <laughs> wow, that looks way cool. A blown out egg. Your turn. All of my friends know that I'm constantly working on whatever DIY or three DIY projects at Fair. one given time. So when they come over, it's like they have no idea what they're about to walk into. And this time, Joanne walked into blowing out an egg. Um, this egg doesn't want to come out yet. And there's the yolk. And... Okay, so after all that, I finally figured it out. So I just finished filling up these shells, and to get that little shine on your egg, take your hair dryer, heat it up, heat up the egg a little bit, and rub your fingers just like this, and you'll see the shine coming through. It looks great. To get the little flat surface on the bottom, take a baking sheet, heat it up, rub the egg on it just like this, and you're done. I finally did it. Yes! I'm ready to go on the show now. <laughs> Today's the big day. I got all my stuff together. I got it all together the night before for my egg candles. I'm kind of petrified. These are just candle eggs. I mean, it's no big deal. I've done live work in front of hundreds of thousands of people and I wasn't nervous. Well, I was, but not this nervous. All right, here we go, wish me luck. <laughs> I was nervous because practicing it took two and a half days and boy, did I ever make a mis- I made so many mistakes. I basically had wax blown up in my entire kitchen. I did every possible thing wrong to finally figure out how to do it right. So I winged it. And it worked out. <laughs> so after all that, it was a success. Everything went great today. I can't wait to see the show tomorrow. It airs tomorrow. And, uh... These turned out pretty cool. God, I hope this goes well. Okay. How you doing? I can open up. I can't do that. And then flip it over to the other side. Okay. And then the other thing you want to make sure you do is to break the yolk. You ready, Mark? I'm um, sure. Of course I am. <laughs> All right. Hey, here we go. One, two, three. Oh. Uh... I can't believe I'm doing this on national television. Clean it first because that's where the salmonella will go. That's right. It lives on the shell of the eggs, so make sure you. That's brutal. I can't wait for all the social media comments. Every time you you would take the shell off, she never knew what color was going. Even though you know little kids. It turned out great. They look fabulous. I look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> And it just, they, they look great. I'm very, very happy with the way they turned out. Where's my phone? I can't do it because my eyebrows aren't working. I just got Botox done. It, they don't work. I don't know if I'll ever do it again, to be honest with you. Like I say, I make the mistakes so you don't have to.